Mr. Dunnigan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So consistent with some of my colleagues, I want to share my pioneer pedigree. It appears I need to do that to validate my comments. So my great-great-grandfather was Erastus Snow. He came over with Brigham Young, and he and Mr. Pratt preceded, they were the scouts that preceded Brigham Young. They came into the valley. They scouted out the valley before Brigham Young ever came here, and he served in the territorial legislature. Now, I know as we've referenced our ancestors, since they've been gone for more than 150 years, it's hard for us to say what they would want us to do or say, um, but I doubt that he would support the new flag. I'm just channeling that in. And I love our current flag. My office on the fourth floor of the Capitol, I look right down State Street. I look at the U.S. flag, the American flag, and I look at our state flag, and it's beautiful. They complement each other well. And I've had people say, when, when I go to Disneyland, I want to have a T-shirt of our flag, and our current flag doesn't go on T-shirts well. And fine, adopt a state T-shirt and put this on it. We're going to apparently have a state crustacean and a state worm and a state mushroom. Let's have a state T-shirt. Make this, make this the, the, the state T-shirt. And somebody says, well, you'd never see our current flag on a baseball cap. Now, I have to say that the mayor of West Jordan, which I represent, he does have this, our state flag on a baseball cap. I'm okay if you take this new design and put it on a baseball cap. In fact, I'll wear one. You know, I, I will do that. I love our state flag. And I just want to share a little bit from the Daughters of the Pioneers. The beehive means, with the bees, it means industry. We know that's what our state is. Why would we give that up? The seagull lily is our state flower. It saved many, the lives of many Utah pioneers. The American bald eagle is shown with outstretched wings, giving protection overall. And this is a statement from the Daughters of Utah Pioneers. We encourage our Utah legislators and governor to leave the current flag in place as the only flag that represents Utah. We do not believe the current state flag should be relegated to a ceremonial flag. We believe the adoption of a new flag diminishes the heritage and strength of Utah women who were instrumental in establishing the flag. And I agree with that. Why are we trying to change our heritage and why are we trying to change our, our history? And it's been said that this does not, this proposed new flag doesn't replace our flag. Of course it does. If it doesn't, why are we voting on it? We can trot, like we trot out grandpa once in a while, we can trot out our existing flag to be the ceremonial flag, but it is a replacement, else we're not going through all this. And I know a lot of school kids have had a lot of input on this. What an opportunity lost. Why didn't we go throughout our state and teach them all the wonderful things about our current flag and educate them on that and continue our heritage from generation to generation? Thank you, Mr. Speaker.